So this is Julio Vasconcelos from the Experience Project. We're here at the 2007 BlogHer conference in Chicago. And I'm here with Jane Goldman, Hi, who Jane. just moderated a panel on the life cycles and the life stages of online communities. Yeah. Jane, maybe you could tell us a little bit about what the panel was about and some of the big takeaways. It was about the life stages of online communities. <laughs> uh, it, we had Betsy Oki from Microsoft and Carol Lynn, who's starting a new uh, community about uh, living with cancer. And uh, we had, oh, Elisa Sherman from Cyber Girls, Web Girls all experienced uh, community managers and community founders. Jane also started uh, Chow Magazine, Chow.com, you might also know from Chow Hound. Yep. Uh, what are some of the big things that you've learned about managing a community and growing it? One of the topics that came up I think that was really important was transparency, the idea that don't try to put anything over on anybody. Let everybody know what's going on at all times. I think people get unhappy. They feel a little ownership of the community, and uh, if something happens, and uh, for instance, Aliza was talking about all of a sudden going from free to dues-paying membership, and what the uproar that, that that created, and 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 she seems to feel that it could all be alleviated with um, being more honest up front, and uh, not not honest as in not dishonest, but just clear and uh, uh, communicating with all the members. That was, I think, a, one of the big, big lessons that we heard. One of, the, one of the big things that we deal with a lot at Experience Project is just trying to foster a safe environment for our community members. And I asked, uh, that was one of the topics of interest that we had. Um, maybe you could tell us a little bit about moderation of comments and right. making a safe environment for community members and what the panel well, was talked about. That was interesting because a lot of different people had different opinions about that. Some people thought that um, it's my place and I get to decide what comments are on it and others thought that uh, they, any comment, unless it was spam, needed to be able to stay. But I do think that the, the common ground again was if you have a policy, you state it up front, you're clear about what it is that you're doing. I think one of the things that Chow Hound Probably in the olden days was um, because they were a little bit technologically handicapped. Um, didn't do as well was to tell people when a post had been deleted why it had been deleted. I think just explaining it, if you're going to delete posts, explaining it goes a long way toward making people uh, less unhappy. Jane, thanks a lot for having me. Thanks, Jane.